Oh, hello there, hairdresser. Okay, let's get started. Hair, hair in your bra, hair in your undies, hair in your socks, hair in your coffee, food, you name it, there's hair everywhere. Not being phased when you're out at a restaurant when you get hair in your meal. Removing hair splinters from your chest, getting all the gossip from every client in town, piecing together all the gossip, saving some marriages, breaking up some marriages. The phrase, the amount of things I know. Phrase, do you like it? Even though you can tell they don't like it. Mirrors, scissors that cost five grand. Sterilizer, hair dryers. Telling your client to lean back further in the basin, otherwise they'll get wet because of, you know, gravity. When a client asks you how you measure a one inch trim, replying, I use the metric system, do you? Hearing the phrase, yeah, like that. No, but also not like that. Arriving home with 300 section clips clipped to you. Being the coolest person to exist ever. Finding a random hair splinter that's actually started growing again. Gross. Going to the toilet, oh uh, nah. A lunch break, oh uh, nah. Being silent, oh uh, nah. A client being 15 minutes late, blaming it on the traffic when they've got a takeaway coffee in hand. Trying to sway a client not to come in a certain time because you know their ex-husband's gonna be in at the same time. Being shown a photo on Instagram of some celebrity, most likely Jennifer Aniston, and the client saying, I wanna look like that, and you in your mind saying, I'm not really gonna make you look like that because that's like a professional hairstyle, it's like a professional photo shoot, and maybe they're on a red carpet or something with 600,000 people flocking around them, and it's probably been photoshopped anyway, and them being disappointed leaving not looking like Jen Aniston. Having a wardrobe full of black clothes, said black clothes having dye stains all over them, having a cheap ass family ask for free haircuts, a client moving their head when you need them not to move their head, a client constantly moving their head while foiling, a client complaining that their new blonde is too gold, a client complaining that their new blonde is too ash, the water in the basin is too cold, the water in the basin is too hot, and then mixing your colour so you have to go back and mix it again, clients bringing in their annoying children, clients bringing in their smelly fast food, clients complaining about their hair. Four months later, a client showing you a picture of them 25 years ago and wanting to relive their youth, tools being stolen by other staff members, stealing other tools from the staff members, a client that you didn't really like wanting to rebook, damn, politely nodding at a client when they're talking and the hair dryer's going and you can't hear shit. the expectation that you can change box dyed black hair to blonde in an hour for a hundred bucks, mild to moderate dermatitis from all the chemicals, hair dye under your nails, stained fingernails, a tattoo of scissors on your forearm, hairdressers for life, not really knowing what to do with every client's deepest darkest secrets, completely ignoring the phrase just cut a little bit off, the ability to talk non-stop for just about ever, overcomplicating hair ratios, 2.4 g, 2, 2 um, o, g, hang on, um, a, a, g, one, a half, a, g, a high to extreme hatred of box hair dye. The ability to eat an entire lunch between clients. Politely laughing at a client's partner who's come in, who's completely bald and asks for a perm. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Playing with the client's hair when they first sit down, but you're actually checking for lice. Checking yourself out in the mirror all day. A client wanting a big change, but doesn't want it cut or coloured. <laughs> Cutting in a mullet. <laughs> They're back. And finally, being a full-time therapist and keeper of secrets to every single person that comes in, but without the client privilege of an actual therapist. Oh, thank you, hairdresser. Oh, just before you go, do you want an expensive wanker hair product to take with you? Great, that'd be great. See ya, bye. Who's next? Boomers. Um, how much time do we have?